Before I start this video, if you want some excellent cloud storage, head over to jameswhitworth.me forward slash pcloud. Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Whitworth here. And one problem with Windows 10, Windows 7 and Windows 8, you're just browsing as you do. And you can see under the size column, there's nothing there. Obviously with files, the size comes up as normal. But for folders, nothing, no size at all. This could be a little bit annoying, say if you're organising folders and trying to sort out your storage space. So the only way you can work out your folder size is just by right clicking it and going to properties and then it will tell you there. But it's not helpful if you want to see all the folders and all the folder sizes at once. It, it, you'd have to do it one by one, it's just long. So Windows doesn't offer this functionality, there's no folder size option, apparently it's too resource heavy. Fortunately there's still a way. So I'll put the link in the description. It's called Folder Size 2.6. So as far as I'm aware, Windows XP 7, 8, and 10, you're all good. It works fine. So if you've got 32 bit, download this one. If you've got 64 bit, download that one. If you're not sure if you're 32 bit or 64 bit, if you have a Windows Vista 7, 8, or 10, go to this PC, right click, and select Properties. Under the System Type, it says 32 or 64 bit. If you have a Windows XP, go to My Computer, right click, and select Properties. If it says x64 edition you have 64 bit so let's go and download the 64 bit because i've got 64 bit computer it's a very small file it should download pretty much instantly even on slow connections so just click run and run next as you can see i've already downloaded it so it's, it's really easy to get through there's no complicated uh, options or anything so once you've completed installation go over to your program files and it should be under folder size so you should open it like this and you can see it's a separate little window which shows you the size it unfortunately is not integrated with windows explorer that's not possible but this is pretty good so let's go back to that folder that was on about this one here and it's just working out this is a big one terabyte hard drive it's going to take a long time but as you can see it's coming up with all the different folders and trust me this is very cluttered this folder i mean this hard drive is very cluttered so it's doing a good job thinking about all the sizes. One thing you might be able to notice is some of them say plus. Generally these are big folders so as you may know if you go into properties not always does it work it out instantly. Sometimes it's counting it out especially if it's got lots of folders, lots of files. But you get the basic idea of it and if you wait long enough you can actually find the exact amount once it works it all out. The good thing about it is that also when you're browsing your folders if you open a new folder, it will automatically show up in the right hand corner. Notice it also shows files as well, so it's not just a folder, it also comes up with files. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up. If you want more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon if you want to be notified for the next video. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, for cloud storage, I recommend pCloud. You can get 10 gigabytes for free, 500 gigabytes for only $3.99 per month, or 2 terabytes for only $7.99 per month. If you're interested, head over to jameswhitworth.me forward slash pcloud. All affiliated links will be in the description. As always, thanks for watching. This is James Whitworth signing out.